The egg protection device competition requires contestants to design and build a concrete device to withstand impact, thus protecting a raw egg. Right now we're at the uh, egg protection device competition. We're going to see what Belmont was able to do with their devices, and hopefully they do well. Now, these competitions were seen as a way to promote technical fields such as engineering, mathematics, and science. So through these contests, we're hoping to motivate the students enough that they'll pursue these, these fields in higher education. And the main goal is to get them to go on to higher education. There you go. Once again, Belmont pulls through and comes out on top of the competition. Bridge contest right now is three days from now. So this is basically the last meeting we're going to have together. And after this, whatever uh, input we get from testing them, they're pretty much going to have to do it on their own at home. Yeah. Bridge is basically made out of small, thin pieces of wood. And uh, the point is to design it well enough that it's going to be able to support uh, close to 100 pounds. Precious. Well, all this time, it, that force is dragging. John, just be careful. If you start to hear it to crack, I'm out, I'm out. Oh! It's on the Yeah. It unglued. She's got the, the good idea going. So just a few minor things that need to be improved, and I'm pretty sure it's going to do a lot better. No, you put the cross ties on top of the, on top of the spans, and it's going to hold a lot more. Welcome to the fourth annual bridge building contest. I'm for, I work for the City of Los Angeles, Department of Public Works, Bureau of Engineering. For all the students that are here, as far as we're concerned, you're all winners, okay? So take that with you for the rest of the time. Using only wood sticks and glue, students have to build a bridge that meets strict contest guidelines. Whoever comes up with the most efficient design wins. The bridge has to be as light as possible, but still carry a heavy load. 12, 15, 19, Students had to test many different designs in the weeks leading up to the contest. 31, 31, 35, 35, 42, 42, 55, 56, 57, 58, 70, 70. See the rope on the top of the bucket? You put the rope on the hook, and uh, that will be, when you connect that, that will be your first four pounds. So we have four pounds so far. Four pounds. Okay, now when you want to add weight, these are 10 pounds, these are five, all the green ones are two pounds, the white ones are one pound, and the purple ones are half a pound. Just go by whatever you feel like. And don't drop them while put the gloves on, yes. Okay, she's picked up five pounds, so. Now we're at nine pounds. Nine pounds. A lot's at stake. Winners here can go on to international competition with a chance to win college scholarships. 
14 pounds. 14. Load it, load it faster, Nia. Yeah. <laughs> Heart's still pounding like crazy. Hi, Katasha's really stressed. <laughs> you did really good, though. At the end of the day, the competition proved to be a little more than Belmont could handle. Yet they didn't go home empty-handed. Second place for beauty and architectural design, Belmont High School. Thank you for participating with us. First I was feeling tired, then I was feeling happy, and then I was feeling sad, and then I was feeling nervous, and then I was feeling intimidated, and then I was feeling sad, and I was about to cry. But what happened to and then I was feeling bored, and then I was feeling wow. Wow. I think that uh, at the beginning of the school year, I noticed that a lot of them aren't familiar with what engineering is. Um, they're not really sure what an engineer does, but as the year progresses, as we get more competitions under our belts, then I really see the students get motivated and get interested in engineering, and they have a better sense of what it is. Oh, they just get turned on. They're, they're applying their energies, their times, their interests, so it's something that they own and appreciate. And if they're successful and they, uh, they win competitions, they win money and awards, you know, that's nothing but reinforcement. Uh, they're on their way to being successful. Like they say, nothing succeeds like success. <laughs> These kids will meet the, the grown-up world and make some friends, make some connections, and uh, hopefully have something um, to dream about in the future. The grown-up community, whether it be the corporate community or the educational community, if those people want to continue to find young blood and new recruits, new employees, new participants from the younger generations, they are going to have to get out of their offices, get out of their cubicles, and come back to the high schools and reconnect with the younger kids and give them the sense that the outside world is waiting for them. For more information on high school technical competitions, visit the City of Los Angeles Engineering website, eng.lacity.org slash hsc.